We're at Browns River Maple for the first open house of the 2023 sugaring season. And we're here with Ken, who's going to give us a bit of a tour. And I think we also have um, Irene Renner here, our tank bird. Kind of like walking on the highway. Are you guys ready for this? Here, point your staff here. It's actually coming over right now. Come on up. Come way over here. Watch the board. Watch your staff. And this is our tank right here. Yep. This is uh, coming off from 12,000 trees right here. It's our 12, big. 12,000 trees? This is our three tractor trailer tank we're sitting here. There's 14,000 gallons of capacity that we can hold so we can go to sleep at night when the sap's running at night time. Incredible. Uh, these are grade one stainless steel milk tanks. So, you know, we have 14,000 taps out here up in our woods right now. And uh, we produce about between 88 and 116 barrels a year, depending on Mother Nature and what she wants to Did give us. Did you wholesale some of that then? Or all we of it or sell most of it in bulk, in bulk yeah, and okay. just by the barrels, right? Right, and we sell it to uh, Highlands and Barrie. Okay, sure. yep. That's and we bring it to them guys. Once in, you know, we, we sell to our family and friends. We bottle it like we, we have open house there right now, and it helps us out tremendously through the season. Um, but if we turn around now and go that way, we go into the RO room, and I can show you that. I'll just okay, show you how we uh, process. And this is our reverse osmosis room where we take 75% of the water out of the sap using these uh, two reverse osmosis machines. It really makes a big difference because if we didn't take any of the water out, we wouldn't have any firewood left. We'd have to use all of our firewood. Right, you off the water and stuff. <laughs> yep. We send this through a series of filters before it gets into these membranes. Our first set of filters are used with this old milk filter. Oh my goodness. They're all milk filters here. This is our pre-pre-pre-filter. Pre and then it goes into our pre-filters, which are made up, set up for the RO systems, these guys, which are nice and clean. Before it gets into these membranes, when it gets into these membranes, this system gives it under four to 500 pounds of pressure inside the membranes, which the sugar molecules are trapped in the middle and the water goes to the outside, which is put outside into our tanks. The sugar molecules then go upstairs into our concentrate tank, which is a 2,000 gallon tank, which is right above our heads. Okay. Once we get about 1,000 gallons of concentrate in those tanks, then we can start to rig. Now, this is one good thing. I don't know if you guys care to see this or not, but 1954 wash machine. And it cleans our filters, totally clean. We have no soap or no clean solutions at all. There's totally water in here. It works very well. Is it electrified or do you do it It is electrified. It is, okay. This is, like I said, from 1954. And I'll demonstrate. Here we go. And then, when it's done with washing, after about half an hour, we turn them over to the rear. And we bring them. And then we hang them. And over and over and over and over again we do this. To keep our sap as clean as possible. I love the contrast. You've got the RO machine, which is fairly new technology, I, I would guess. Yeah. And then you have this 1950 yep. washer. This old baby is beautiful. Works great. Otherwise, we would have to wash those things by hand over and over and over again. So now we'll bring you out and show you the rig. Terrific. Thing. We're slowing down our boil so we can boil all day long. So everybody get, can come in and smell the, the sweetness of the sap being spoiled. So we're not really going full bore today. We're just going really slow and letting everybody have a good smell of it. And it smells really great this time of year. So this is a wood fire. If we step down in there, you can see the firebox. Even with that there. Flames, just coals right now. I see. This is uh, the Hurricane Force 5, this rig. It's very efficient. It uh, blows the air straight up from the bottom of it. And then at the same time, it blows sideways. So it turbolizes the smoke. When it turbolizes the smoke, it sends the 
smoke back down to the coals, so it burns all the gas on now. Gas burns all the gases out of it, so it virtually comes out of the stack is no smoke at all. And this, it, it takes all the energy out of the wood and turns it into heat to to boil our sap. So it's a very efficient rig. This is. So how many cords of wood do you go through in a year? Ten cords a year. Yep. Just for this. Yep, and I'll show you the wood pile. So we burned five cords already. We got five more sitting here. It's all 42 inches long, and it's that big. And do you harvest this from your property or someone else? Every bit of it. Yep. Oh my goodness. Mother so you spend Nature. Most of the year yep. Harvesting, and then you spend the as winter As soon as we're done sugaring, that's when we go get our wood, and we fill this wood box right up, wood shed. This is our <clears throat> automatic draw. When it gets to 219.6, that was when we set that today for the temperature, for the barrack max pressure always goes up and down. We set it with a holy grail, which is our hydrometer. Once our hydrometer reads perfect, we set this to it. It comes out of here and it goes into our kettle. It comes out of our kettle. It comes over here into our press. It comes out of here pure. Pure. Um, that pure. So that means we can sell it. And we sell it in, in the barrels. Yep. So after it's we comes out of the press, goes into the barrel. How yep. many barrels do you take at once to Highland? Fifteen. Fifteen. And how yep. many gallons are they in each? Forty. And that's how we do it. And they go all over. So there's a golden delicate, and there's a amber rich, and there's a dark robust. So, so what we do is we take our sample, which is this one, 48, and we put it in there, and we gotta decide which was the closest one. Not that one. And it's the lighter than that one, so it's not that one. So it's this one. That's the closest one to the color. So that's A Amber Rich. So yeah, that's kind of how we do it here at Browns River Maples. Yep.